Yo, what the hell is going on, Americans? Jericho Green here with you once again. Happy Memorial Day. Please remember those who have sacrificed the most for us, the brave men and women in our military who have gone to foreign soil and stayed there, died there for us, for our freedom, for our abilities, for our, for our Americanisms, for the reasons that the rest of the world is jealous of us. Thank you. A few months back, I was in the parking lot of a store and there was a lady who was getting her uh, shopping bags out of her car and she had a sticker in her back window and it was a picture of her son. He was in his army uniform with his beret on and it had the, you know, the date he was born, the date he died. He died in Afghanistan. So I went up to her and I said, thank you. Thank you for your son's sacrifice. And I'm glad I did that. You can tell that she wasn't angry. She obviously supported him. And she wasn't mad at his reasonings. I'm sure yeah, her heart bleeds every fucking minute of every day. But she was proud of her son. And I'm proud of any, everybody who's joined the military. And today, especially those who sacrificed, who gave the highest sacrifice. So thank you. I'm on my way to the store now to get some grilling supplies. Got to get a little charcoal, a little flesh. So feed and fuck a vet today. Give them the most thanks. I know it's not Veterans Day, but we're talking about people who are uniform members of our society who died. So please take a moment. I saw a picture. I think it was on Facebook. Man, it was this woman. She had a blanket laid in front of her husband's tombstone, had the little baby there who obviously never got to meet his dad. She's just on a blanket crying. I mean, that shit's deep. That shit is real. So... My heart goes out to those families today celebrating slash remembering. This is a serious day. Please have some pride in your country. Now, the reason for this video. Man, what the fuck is Gillette doing? Look, that first video they had back in January about the best a man can get, talking about men are all, we're all borderline rapists and we need to do better. Man, chill with that shit. That, I kind of kind of saw it as, all right, they're, they're trying to make some money off of this, this woke bullshit. This is a business move. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I wasn't. That's the way I felt about it. But this shit, they got some dude named Samson, some dude, this tranny named Samson Brown, who has transitioned into, I'm not going to say being a man, but because, because you take pills and you, I don't know whether he got, you know, a a dick made and put it I don't know but just because you take pills and you dress like a dude and you sag your pants and get some tattoos and cut your hair you're not a fucking man and just because you put on a dress you take some pills to grow some fake titties you get your dick turned inside out to make a a, a makeshift vagina you're not a woman there's more to it than the outside okay just because you want to be one, you feel like one, you're not one. I want to be a billionaire. I feel like a billionaire, but I'm not. Okay? Transgender people are less than 1% of the population. Who the fuck gave them this bullhorn? There's a commercial. This dude, Samson Brown, he's from Canada. My, hey, my people in Canada, I know I got a lot of support and love from Canada. Don't take this personal. But it's in Canada and Ontario. And he's shaving for the first time with his... <laughs> what the fuck? They even say this shit is ridiculous. But this transgender person is shaving for the first time with their dad. Now, on a personal level, the love that this man had for his transgender child is great that's how it should be on a family level obviously the father accepts him and supports him that's awesome any good parent would do that but don't fucking tell me that it's normal all right that shit was laughable he didn't even have any hair on his face it was like peach fuzz a couple fucking doing 
That's it. Look, I'm sorry your head's fucked up to where you think you were born in the wrong body and you have to take all these steps to feel normal if that's even possible. But get the fuck out of here with that shit. That shit is not normal. That's not a normal first shave. That's a slap in the face for a real first shave. For a boy to be to sit there with his father, you're becoming a man. Things are happening in your body. You're changing. You're becoming a man. It's your father's job to usher you into that, to help you into that, to teach you how to shave and tie a tie and throw a ball and hold a door, respect women. That's a rite of passage for a young man and his father. And for you to pervert and shit on that moment with this bullshit, that's not a real first shave because that's not a real son and his father. What the fuck is that? And how can you say the best a man can get? A be the best of uh, fucking who knows? A tranny? A dog? Who fucking knows? What's going to be their next video? Somebody having a first shave with their fucking puppy? What is this shit? Now granted it's Canada and it wasn't an American ad, but Gillette sells shit here too, don't they? Side note, something that really pissed me off, the dudes that were talking about it, there were people commenting it was E.T. Canada, and they kept saying Nike, not Nike, it's fucking Nike, it's not Nike, that shit pissed me off, anyway, this is shitting on real father-son moments, that's a real moment for a father to shave with his son for the first time, because it's not just slap some shaving cream on your face and scrape it off with a razor. You have to go with the hair. You got to go with the grain. You go up this way, down that way. And it's a moment. It's not just here, son. This is how you remove hair from your face. It's a moment. It's a special moment between a father and his son. And for you to sit here and show some fucking tranny shit, you're not a man. I'm sorry. I know you got your baggy sweatsuit on and you got a little Adam's apple and you got a couple fucking hairs right here. You're not a man. You still bleed once a month? Why don't we tug those trousers down and see if you got anything hanging? You don't. Being a man is only partially on the outside. Being a man is on the inside. Men live a certain life. Men live a certain way. We do certain things. And we pass certain things down to our sons. Our daughters too. But not things like this. There's other things a man passes down to his daughter. But father-son moments are very important. It teaches your son how to be a man. It teaches your son hygiene. It teaches him how to clean, clean himself up. Keep himself presentable. Be a man. But this tranny shit, this needs to stop. It's not the norm. I'm sorry to say it, but if you're transgender, there is something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with us as a society. You obviously have some things going on upstairs, and that's cool. There's nothing, I'm not holding anything against you. You were born that way. If you got problems up here, you got problems. What I have a problem with is companies like this, the mainstream mediocres, and our fucking elected officials trying to tell us that this is normal, and if you see something wrong with it and you don't agree, there's something wrong with you. No. It's not the norm. It's not the way things are usually done. Sorry. Now I got something else Gillette can do with their shaving cream. And there's other companies, Gillette. You're not the only fucking show in town. You ever heard of Barbasol? Their shit's just as foamy and fluffy as yours. And you know it's some, some woke bullshit. You know it's some new post-2016 bullshit. Because back in the day, Gillette ads used to be dudes swinging a racket with a suit and tie. Fucking laying a driveway. Man shit. But you're going to sit here and tell me because this dude takes pills and may or may not have had his vagina turn into a dick? That's a man? 
get the fuck out of here. I know acceptance makes your little pink dicks hard, but it doesn't work for the rest of us. Yes, you can accept them, but don't fucking tell me that they're the same as what I am. That's not the case. Men don't have periods. That's a pretty big distinction between men and women. And no matter what you do on the outside, no matter how you dress, when your friend comes to town, you're about to grab some pe some maxi pads or some fucking tampons. I don't need to do that. But it is Memorial Day. I am going to grill with my family, so let me get to it. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me please subscribe hit that notification bell utilize the paypal link i am jericho green man i'm out